see Lindelof videos, AP calculus, express an integral in terms of u. And then in this case, we're actually going to evaluate this one. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm looking at this, and I can, this is what I'm looking at. I'm like, do I have something here? Like, what's the relationship between this 8x and this thing down here? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this piece out, and I'm, the bottom piece out, I'm going to say, let u equal 2x squared plus 3. If I did that, this I'm going to actually show you this kind of step by step. Then what I would do is I'd start to do my replacements. I have this 8x up here. And then it says u is this thing, right? u is this. So that thing is squared, so it's just u squared dx. When you're doing u substitution, one of the first con major concerns is that you have these variables. This is in terms of u. These two are in terms of x. So you need to simplify this out a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take du dx. That is the derivative of this piece at the top right here, which happens to be 4x, right? Because the first derivative of 2x squared is 4x. The first derivative of 3 is just 0. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for dx. And as I solve for dx, just doing some algebra, I'm going to get du over 4x. Just to show you what I'm looking at here is I'm, I need to replace my dx. So here's my dx. I'd like to have my dx in terms of u. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to replace it. It says dx is this thing. So I'm going to take that and say, well, if it is that thing, then let's call it that du over 4x. Hopefully now what you can see is that these x's cancel and 8 over 4 is 2. So I can rewrite this like this. Oh, this should have been a negative sign out in front of here in the very beginning of the problem, sorry. 0 of negative 2 over u squared du. So hopefully you're good with that. So from here, all I'm going to do is, is this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out negative 2. So I'm going to factor out this negative 2 here. You don't mind, and I'm going to leave this like this. And this u squared at the bottom is u to the negative 2, isn't it? Uh, du. And now I'm going to go ahead and start to integrate. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate now. And I'm integrating in terms of u. So it gives me negative 2 times the quantity, right? Which would be u to the negative 1 over negative 1. Du, isn't it? So hopefully from here, you can see, oh, I should give my evaluative thing here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to evaluate from here to here. Um, this thing comes up, this negative 1 and this negative 2 go to just 2, don't they? So I have 2 over u. I have 2 over, just 2 over u, evaluated from negative 3 to 0. Now I am going to resubstitute. So I'm going to resubstitute here. It's 2 over, remember we had that u was equal to 2x squared plus 3. So I'm resubbing, so resub here. And remember that we're going to declare that we intend to evaluate. So now what we're going to do is this. As we evaluate this thing, we're going to evaluate f of 0, right? f of 0 minus f of negative 3. Uh, and f of 0 is 2 thirds, isn't it? f of 0 is 2 thirds, is 2. Did I lose a negative sign somewhere? No, not good. Yep. Right? Is 2. It's 2 over 3, so it's 2 thirds, minus f of negative 3. And f of negative 3 is 2 over 221st, is that right? Negative 3 squared is 9, 18, 21, right? Am I doing all right here? And <clears throat> here we're going to get this into 21st. So this is times 7. So 14, 21st, 14, 21st minus 2, 20. First is equal to 12 21st, isn't it? Right? 12 21st is equal to 12 21st here, and that is equal to 
Oh, so the area is equal to three sevenths, four sevenths, three, four sevenths is equal to four sevenths. All right. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.